The 2021 quarterback draft class was one of the most hyped up draft classes in recent NFL history. In this draft, we had five quarterbacks who were very hyped up and ended up all going inside the top 15, and they were all seen as possible franchise quarterbacks. But most likely after free agency, we will only have one quarterback who was still on their original team that drafted them. Ladies and gentlemen, you see the title, you see the thumbnail. We're looking back at the 2021 quarterback draft class. The first quarterback. And spoiler alert, Trevor Lawrence is the only quarterback we're going to talk about today where it's actually looking good for him. Now, the second quarterback taken off the board was Zach Wilson from BYU as he was drafted second overall. Now, Zach Wilson was always sold out of BYU, but in his final season in 2020, he went off as he put BYU and himself on the national stage and he was in consideration for the Heisman running for a long time. And with this size, his athleticism, and his stats, Zach Wilson shot up draft boards. Now, the Jets had just gotten done with Sam Darnold, who was number three overall pick in 2018, and he was really bad with the Jets. He was a huge bust, and Jets fans were hoping that Zach Wilson wouldn't turn out like him. And that is exactly what happened. His rookie season, like Trevor Lawrence, wasn't good. 2,234 passing yards, 9 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, and went 3-13, excuse me, 3-10 and 10 in his starts. Despite this bad season, people still had hope for Zach Wilson in the future as in the 2022 NFL Draft, they'd give him Garrett Wilson, a true wide receiver one. And this Jets team was not looking bad. Maybe a playoff team if they can really play good. But let's cut to week 11 of 2022, where this might have been where Zach Wilson's NFL career and most certainly his time with the Jets ended. Up to this point, the Jets are having a pretty good season and if they could keep it together, they could make the playoffs. 
However, the Jets just suffered a 10-3 loss, a very bad offensive outing that was mainly on the hands of Zach Wilson as he only threw for 77 yards and no touchdowns, no interceptions, but still, very bad game. It was his fault, and he was asked if this game was his fault, and this is what he said. The, as an offense, though, I mean, when you guys are only able to score three points, the defense only lets up three points. I mean, do you, do you feel like you let the defense down at all? No. No. This single clip right here would lose the trust of his locker room and well Zach Wilson's NFL career might have been over at that moment. Mike White would get to start the next week against the Bears and he would go off 315 passing yards, 3 touchdowns, no picks, and 91.3 QBR according to ESPN and Zach Wilson from that point on would start off and on. The Jets traded for Aaron Rodgers in 2023. However, he tore his Achilles in week one, so Zach Wilson started some games. Like always, he was bad, but Aaron Rodgers is looking to return to 2024. They've also given Zach Wilson permission to seek a trade, so with a lot of teams needing some starting quarterbacks or some backup quarterbacks, Zach Wilson could be going there. Well, in the editing of this video, Aaron Rodgers might run for vice president, so his career with the Jets might be over. Uh, I had no idea this was going to happen. No one saw this coming. Okay, back to the video. Our third quarterback taken, number three overall to the 49ers, Trey Lance from North Dakota State. Now, entering the draft, Trey Lance was the most interesting prospect of all these five quarterbacks we're going to talk about because he's from an FCS school, so we don't really know how he's going to do in the NFL. And this pick was ever grabs between Trey Lance and Justin Fields, and the Niners took Trey Lance. And of all players we're going to be talking about, Trey Lance has had the strangest career so far. In his rookie season, he'd sit by Jimmy Garoppolo for one season, but he would start a few games, starting two of them, and he didn't do so bad. Over 600 yards, five touchdowns, and two interceptions in two games started. But after sitting back for a season, it'd be announced that Trey Lance would be QB1 for opening day in 2022, and this was kind of exciting. But his second year would end prematurely, as just in his second start, he would be out for the season with a broken ankle and this was devastating news and this might have been the end of his NFL career right here. To make matters worse for Lance, Mr. Relevant of 2022 Brock Purdy, who entered the season as QB3, took in for Jimmy Garoppolo after he also got hurt and he took the NFL by storm, going undefeated and posting up very solid numbers and in just a few games he finished inside the top five and offensive rookie of the year voting and the 49ers decided that he would be the quarterback for 2023. Lance would then lose the QB2 spot to Sam Darnold of all people. Yeah, he found his way on the 49ers. It's funny how this thing has come full circle. But anyway, after he lost to Sam Darnold, the 49ers decided it was time to move on already. The 49ers would trade Trey Lance to the Dallas Cowboys, and many people thought that he could be going after Dak Prescott's job, but after the season Dak put up, I doubt he'll be starting over Dak anytime soon, which speaking of starts, he didn't play a single snap all season. Even though I believe he was overdrafted to begin with, it's really sad to see what's happened with him. I forgot to mention this before I started talking about Trey Lance, but the 49ers traded up from 12 to 3 to draft him, and in exchange, the 49ers gave up a ton of first round picks and some other late round picks and out of those picks these are who the Dolphins got Jalen Waddle, Tyreek Hill, Bradley Chubb and Channing Tindall so it's safe to say the Dolphins have easily robbed that trade and uh, if you watch my video from last week this trade rivals the Russell Wilson trade when it comes to all time worse. The fourth quarterback taken off the board number 11 overall to the Chicago Bears Justin Fields from Ohio State. Now Justin Fields had a crazy college career. His freshman year started out at Georgia, but he wouldn't get any playing time until his third season with Jake Fromm starting. So he transferred to Ohio State. He was able to play right away, and he was very good at Ohio State, finishing the top four in Heisman voting in 2019, and leading him to the playoffs both years he started, including the national championship in 2020. I'm not going to go in depth like the other three quarterbacks we've talked about, but Justin Fields, let's just put it lightly, hasn't been the best quarterback in the NFL. I mean, 
He's been very streaky, I guess. He's just not the QB1 for the Bears going forward. They're looking to draft Caleb Williams in the upcoming drafts, and that's the right move. And I don't think Justin Fields, for too much longer, is going to stay a Bear. And the fifth and last quarterback taken in the first round, number 15 overall to the Patriots, Mac Jones from Alabama. Now, in college, Mac Jones only played one full season as he sat behind Tua in his first two. But in 2020, his only season fully starting, he went off 4,500 yards, 41 touchdowns, four interceptions. He finished in the top four in Heisman voting, and he led Alabama to a national championship, him and Devontae Smith, the real Heisman winner. But in his rookie season, Mac Jones was the best rookie quarterback as he led the Patriots to a 10-7 record, a playoff berth, and he finished second in offensive rookie of the year voting, and even though they got blown out in the playoffs, this season was really scary because it was really looking like the Patriots were somehow back after only one season. But over the last two seasons, Mac Jones has turned into one of the worst quarterbacks in the NFL and the Patriots are one of the worst teams in the NFL. And the Patriots have completely moved on from Mac, trading him to the Jaguars, funny enough, so he can sit behind Trevor Lawrence. The 2021 quarterback draft class was extremely hyped up and only one quarterback as of right now, looks like he can have a solid NFL career. It's really sad to look back on, but hopefully for some guys, they can get back on track. And hopefully for Trevor Lawrence, he can turn out to be the savior for the Jaguars. And that's about it. Bye-bye.